nice to see you. Um, the lighting always a bit dodgy <laughs> for what I can see. I don't think it's that bad. I just think it's the view that I get. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Esther and this is, I nearly called it the wrong channel, Stampin' Star Creations. <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, nice to see you all. I'm sorry but I have got my fan on and if I don't have it on I'm absolutely going to just melt in my own sweat I think it's just I'm just boiling here um I know it's not as hot as Australia in their winter <laughs> but it's um yeah I'm still hot I might have to switch it off because of the noise so I've got out um little dreamers and I was going to try and look up before I started um who I got this inspiration or been inspired by this card from and I fail to do that so I'll try and remember to pop that in the comments afterwards but somebody had this idea uh, it was a pop-up card so I'm going to do this on the front rather than the inside of the card um that's the plan and I guess guess what I'm using Kay <laughs> the border dies <laughs> these are the border dies aren't they yeah basic border dies so little dreamers come with their own die set thankfully and what else have I pulled out oh it's, got, it's a completely different die set um don't need that one today and before I continue, I want to quickly show you some happy mail. So I know you're here to see the baby cards, but um, I really want to show you this gorgeous happy mail. So a lot of you are very, very kind in sending me cards and happy mail. And um, Ruth had some sent to her, and there was a parcel in there for me as well. So um, a big thank you to Sandra, and I did check whether I can mention her name, and she said it was fine. So I'll, I'll go through that. So good morning everybody, or good evening if you're in Australia. Hi Kay and Vicky, thank you for joining. Hi there Shaz, lovely to see you, I hope you're doing okay. Hi there Nessa, hi Rosie. Ah good, I'm glad you changed your name, now I, I can say your name without having to remember it. Hi there Lisa and Wendy, nice to see you. Yay, the border dies. <laughs> okay, so the lovely Sandra, I'm trying to find the card, um, sent me a beautiful card and with a lovely message in the middle which I won't read out because it's a personalised message from moi and lots of other goodies so she sent me some handmade stuff and some stamping up goodies and some loads and loads of lovely lovely stuff and it was just so kind and such a lovely surprise so she sent me the leaf label and amber gem combo pack which I don't actually have so that's really handy so thank you for that Sandra then um, she sent this gorgeous box here and inside said box and this is a lovely magnetic, look at this, do you just love a magnetic box? This beautiful tulip paper and inside said box, ta -da! all the up to date colours, look at that, she must have spent ages cutting all these out. So I don't actually have these cut out properly so what a dream, thank you Sandra, that's so useful to have. and in its own tidy box as well, I love it. And then, can you guess what's in here? <laughs> this very heavy package. So if I pull the string, it says, look, she's even got instructions, pull ribbon upwards. You pull the string and it reveals not one, but two bars of chocolate. I've had to resist, I've put this away and resisted it because I wanted to show you first <laughs> what came in it. And then this beautiful handmade bookmark. Now I'm on the I'm on of the mindset that you can't have enough bookmarks, and I've got into reading more and sort of doing Bible readings and reading books. So this is perfect. A lovely little corner bookmark that Sandra actually handmade. So that's lovely. And then this beautiful, bright, fun mat. It says, I'm a Chanel heart mug rug. Rest your mug on me, and when you're feeling blue, rub my heart. I will not fray, so rub away. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love that. So a gorgeous mat to put your mug on, and maybe room for a biscuit or something too. So I thought I'd show you that, because that was my very special gift from the lovely Sandra. So thank you so much for that. Um... 
You did it just for me, Rosie. You changed your name. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Vicky's reminding us that there's 30% off kits at the moment. I've been really slack in letting you know all the promotions. Thank you. And if you have a long wish list, then best deal is to join Esther's team. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. £99. If you're thinking about spending that type of money, you might as well think about joining. So I've gone and I'll just show you the process. I've gone and cut, uh, stamped some images in basic grey. Black could be quite harsh, so I wanted a nice dark grey colour. So I've stamped these in um, basic grey and I'm probably going to do some more colouring because I need to make a baby girl card as well. Then I've coloured them in with my alcohol markers and then I've already saved you the job and I've gone ahead and cut, used these matching dies to cut around my images. So here's the lion. This is with wild wheat. I think it's a perfect colour for Mr Lion. This gorgeous little chipmunk here. Mr Moo Cow. And uh, Nelly the elephant. Aren't they just so sweet when they're all coloured in? Wow, how wonderful of Sandra. I know, right? Just so many nice things. Love the chocolate envelope. Not seen that before. Yeah, it's a clever concept to be able to pull out a gift card or a gift. Oh, Wendy says I've missed you, Esther. Thank you. Hi, Claire. I know, I was kind of super proud of my colouring. So I'm, I might do some colouring. It just depends how much time we've got. I've also gone and cut out a load of clouds and the moons. <coughs> Then I had an incident with one of the dies. I dropped it on the floor and I was like, you made it like a dink noise. And I was like, hmm, that's near my bin, if not in the bin. So it scoured around on the floor, nowhere to be seen on said floor. And just bear in mind that I had a full bin. Uh, and yes, I went to the kitchen, emptied it out, thinking, no, it's definitely not here, definitely not here. Literally got to the right at the bottom of the bin. Guess what was down there? Yep. The small cloud die with the paper on it had fallen right to the bottom of the bin. There we go. Right, should we get started? <laughs> so, in the border dies, this is one of my favourite in here, I think, don't tell the others, is these gorgeous stitched clouds. Now, the lady on the video that I saw, she probably measured her card. But what, I <laughs> what I'm going to do is I've got my layers that I like. And I'm just going to cut away some layers, I think, and just like wing it, risk it for a biscuit and see where we go in the hope that it works, because that's how I roll. Um, so let's bring out the beast. Here she is. Oh, up we come. And um, I changed my plate over today. I thought, oh, I've got to treat myself to a new plate. So I put this old one on the bottom and then the newer one on top. It's already got a bit of a, what do you call it? Right, so I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go fairly near the top for my first cut. You remember me losing a die like that before? That's right. And it was on a box under my desk. Oh, but good memory, Wendy. I've got to be careful what I say and do, because you'll just remember. <laughs> um... Use a magnet in your bin. No, that's a good idea. <laughs> and uh, Kay says, just on a side note, the glow-in-the-dark paper that's coming soon can be stamped on and dry embossed. Woozers. So you've heard it here first. Um, or you might, Kay might have seen it somewhere else. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go kind of midway down my card next. I think I am going to have to do three layers. Tell you what, no, I'm just going to move that down there. No, I don't have to do three layers. I know what I'm doing. Honest. Um, in fact, let's just turn it that way a bit. So, yes, there is a glow-in-the-dark paper coming soon, believe it or not, which will be quite fun to use. So, I've got this layer here now. Okay. So we've got a top layer and then we've got this mid middle layer. In fact, I might do a layer in between here. So rather than wasting the card, I'm just going to reuse this card here. I was thinking of a lower layer, but I think I might want something in between because I want room for either a name or a sentiment. 
So, can't see what I'm doing. Let me just bring you up a little bit more. I'm going to cut this one. So I'm going to turn it around to the straight edge. And each time I've moved the border dies, you get a different look of the cloud. I'm just going to pin this down with some post-it note. Just keep sliding around a little bit. So I've barged in here and I've not asked how you are today. How are you all? Um, I've asked Nessa how she's doing. Uh, I'd like them to bring out shrink plastic. Uh -huh. And Kay's happy because she's got her order. <laughs> so if you're wondering what we're on about, the new Stampin' Up! Winter catalogue is now out. And um, so when I last spoke to you, I think I didn't order any catalogues, but I've got that sorted now. And so I've got some catalogues on their way. So if you would like one, let me know. Um, so I'm thinking that one for the middle-ish. There, that's better. Yep, I prefer that. Okay. So we've got these lovely group of clouds, and then the idea is that you've got your, you have your animals kind of in the clouds. I think Mr. Cow can be maybe sleeping on a cloud. Nice little geezer somewhere. You might have to go in the middle of the card. Um, oh, Rosie, you're recovering from surgery. Doing well, off work, so this is so fun to see again. Oh, Rosie, wishing you well very soon, and I hope you have a, a good and speedy recovery. Um, Nessa says, and how are you doing, Esther? Thank you for asking. At the moment, I'm doing great. <laughs> um, just having time off and having the school holidays to get stuff done, to have a break, I'm able to kind of refocus my brain, get some energy back. Um, thank you for asking, Rosie. Yeah, so now that I'm on sort of school holiday mode, it, it does help. So I've just got whatever blue this is on the brush, and I'm just going to use this to go over the clouds and this helps to show up that lovely stitching how cool is that can you guys see that my fan isn't too noisy for you I was going to switch it off but yeah it's not going to happen <laughs> I might put the little baby's name on the card, I think. So you've got these lovely group of clouds. Nessa said, we've missed you, glad you're recovering. Thank you. I just think, yeah, working kind of took its toll on me. Um, and I had a very challenging, busy um, end of term. So... So I'm just trying to figure out where my lion's going to go. Unless I stick. Or the cow could go at the top. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to decide where they all should go. Right, let's colour in a moon. Because that needs to be there. And I haven't done any stars yet either. So. Should I use lemon lolly? No. Not yet. Um. Let's do the moon. You're going to take all of your 27 dogs out. But you're going to take me with you. <laughs> this is going to be a fun ride. Is that still the puppies, um, Shaz? I bet they're not so puppy anymore. And what's going to happen with all these doggies? Are you keeping them or are you... Are you going to... Uh, sell some on or that's a lot of animals which I just thought I think the, the clouds need to have a bit of a, a dusting as well so we'll do that
Oops. Right, I think the only way this is going to work is if we actually just get a bit of card. Now, do we want the card to be white? Or do we want it to be blue? Or do we want it to be navy blue? Oh, the decisions. I think I quite like the navy blue. Yeah. Do the little clouds have a stitched edge? So they have dotted edges. Yeah? So I'd say more sort of like pinpricks rather than stitched. I own 20 who live with me. Seven are dogs that come back to me when their owners go away. They come back to their dog family. Oh, how sweet. Right, votes for the Navy, I think. Yeah? I've kind of made the vote already. And then I'm thinking, I guess I'm going to have to do these layers. Just wondering if this cow, this cow might disappear. Hmm. I think I'm just going to have to stick the layers and work with the layers. Okay? Because <laughs> I could feel myself dithering and I don't like dithering. dithering. Pebble grey. Oh yeah. What about grey? For the background. I think I quite like the navy. We're going to go with navy. And I think I had a thought, because I was going to put a sentiment on it, but... If I just put the child's name on it, the baby's name, I do go up or down. No, let's leave it like that. If I put the baby's name, they might be inclined to have it up in his bedroom or something. I'm so glad to recognise you needed a break. We're all guilty of putting ourselves last and struggling on. Absolutely no shame in taking a break. We would always be here patiently waiting for you. Thank you, Wendy. That means a lot. Um, to be totally honest with you, I had no idea, like, if I'd return properly, what the situation would be, um, whether I could, whether, I just, I kind of felt like I'd just lost my, I don't know, lost, just lost any kind of creative excitement, mojo, whatever you want to call it, and it kind of scared me, I guess, I was like, oh, just feel like you know but I think I just needed the headspace and the time to just clear my head and get that energy back and I just think when you're in a place where you've got a lot on and you are busy with other things and you are in maybe a stressful situation um you don't have that headspace to be creative and creative I think you need to have that you need that headspace does that make sense um, um, I'm sorry concentrating and trying to talk at the same time because you know creativity takes up mind as well doesn't it you know it takes up space in your head I kind of know what I'm trying to say. I can't get it out. Uh, Shaz says, I'm a dog psychologist. Are you? I use my pack to rehabilitate dogs with issues in rescue centres so they can be rehomed. I didn't know that, Shaz. Hobby is one thing, but a job you lose something that you once enjoyed becomes pressure. Exactly, Nessa. Let me just say that again. Hobby is one thing, but a job you lose... But a, but a job you lose something that you once enjoyed becomes pressure. Yeah, and I think... It was becoming just because of other aspects of my life and I, I needed to have that clean break in order to recognise that, I guess. I might not even use these clouds. <laughs> I'm trying to think how the lady did hers. Because like, I think these animals have got to be in a certain order. Actually, that's quite cute. I like the cow near the moon, like as if he's supposed to be jumping over the moon, but he fell asleep. And 
could stick in some little clouds. Okay, right, I like that layout. So, Mr. Cow, I think you're going to be popped up just a little bit. Let's prop up your head a bit. I'm just going to go for it and stick these guys down. Uh, it's a vicious circle though, isn't it? You need to be creative to combat the stress, but you can't be creative with too much stress. <laughs> so true. You did the right thing. Thank you, Rosie. I know what you were saying, big coach. Thank you. Oh, you've done a fabulous job colouring them in. Thank you. I was, I was quite pleased with my colouring. I was like, yay. Oh, pardon me, got the burps. And then this guy, oh, I'll do Wink of Stella after. Just remind me not to miss out on the old Wink of Stella. I think his balloon can just be floating and this guy can just be, whoops, it is. This guy could be stuck down. So, um, and I think the other practical issue I had was just having the desk space um, because it got used up with um, trying to sort out Etsy shop stuff and so I didn't like it was either crafting or Etsy so I couldn't have sort of both on my desk at the same time um, I feel like I'm miles away let's just try and zoom in. Oh, too close well, well done on recognising and acting, not only beneficial for you, but also the family. Yeah, I think it just got to a point where something had to give and it was, it was just such a strange experience to go through. But, you know, these little characters are so cute, says Kate. Oh, they are just adorable. When they're coloured in, I think it just brings them to life. I, I, do you know what? I'm going to add the Wink of Stella now because because I'm a visual person, I need to see what things are going to look like. So rather than wait, I need to see what they're going to look like now. I think I could just colour in his whole balloon. So sparkly. And then I wanted like silver lining on the edge of the clouds as well. Which I should have done before I stuck it down, but oh, I forgot to do the moon. Has anyone else got this set? Maybe a little bit of moonshine. Hopefully situations that become unhealthy for us help us to learn how to advocate for our health in the future. Absolutely, I was just thinking that, that actually, you know, these times we learn from and, you know, the, 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 you know life is education, isn't it? We're always learning from those situations. I did just a cow jumping moon for in Nessa says she did a cow jumping over the moon for an engagement card saying we're over moon about the over the moon about the news. Hey Wendy, look at my colouring. <laughs> Are you proud? I took Wendy's colouring class, so I feel like I'm now expert colourer. <laughs> Not strictly true, but you know. I feel better, I feel more confident in what I'm doing and Learned some great tips from Wendy's colouring class. So this guy, I think he needs to be popped up a bit. Shaz has got this set. Oh my goodness, this card is gorgeous. I'm proud of you, Esther. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Um, Kay doesn't have it, but she's regretting not getting it now, so she can feel another order coming on. <laughs> Brilliant. I was going to warn people that this could be a long video, but you know, I think when you start watching it, you'll discover <laughs> it's going to be a long video. So I want to make sure that baby Joshua has his name somewhere on here. Um, sorry, I'm off to the side because I think all my bits are here. This little guy's cute, but he kind of outbalances my my character number. So we'll see if he makes it to the the final cut or not. Let's get out some dies for his name, which I haven't done yet. Find some letter dies somewhere. C 
So those ones are quite long. Sorry, I just got to find the other ones. There's these ones. Do we have some other letter dies? Oh, I know what we've got. I've got those, um, I've got a couple of, i got the classic letters, I've got these, and I've got these, but I want the capital J. Would that work together? Ooh. I'm a bit scared about stamping straight on, but do you know what? <laughs> Let's just have a look. Use him inside if no room on the front. Yes, I, yeah. I'm thinking that, but you know. Right, I've got these little letters here. Is that an O there, or is that a zero? It's a zero. O is here. Okay, those letters are tiny compared to that, aren't they? J O S. If I don't do them straight, then it doesn't matter. H. Hey. Mm. I think it's going to have to be straight. And okay, let's just park these a second. Let's see what we got if we use the big ones. I don't think they would all fit on. They're too big. They're going to be too big, aren't they? I can see it already. Okay. So do you think we can get away with that big J or does that just look really... Let's see what the little J is like. A, B, C, D. So we spend ages just trying to look for the letters. There's the J. See, the J is lowercase. <laughs> Vicky's given Kay permission to uh, add it to the list. Use the alphabet dies, says Kay. Yeah, I suppose that's safer then, isn't it? Because you then know where they're going to sit. Okay. This is warm today. Windows open, fans on. Right, plan B. Where did I put the dies? What about these nice thin ones? Because then you can squeeze his name on. That S looks like it's got to stay down. It is. J -S, Josh. Yeah, these will fit on nicely. Josh. Sure. Look at that. Right. Who's Levine popped in? Hey, hey, Miss Levine. Nice to see you. I was just thinking about you because I'm using some letter dies. I'm like, Levine is like the expert of letter dies. Now, should I cut these out in navy? I think I should. Or, all done, all done. Uh oh, Esther's got an idea. How about. Is that a bit sparkly for a boy? Hmm. Oh, look what I've done here. Oh, oh, oh. How about this for a compromise? Wait, 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 wait. Look. I've coloured this in. Should we go glittery blue or just navy? 
Um, Wendy says, I know, Shaz, it's been a struggle, but I'm trying to stay positive, collecting my new car tomorrow, so I'm very excited. Oh, Wendy. Sounds like you've got a lot on your plate at the moment. No worries, Nessa. Enjoy your shower. Um, I did a welcome back on a card with flowers on the card, I told you, and Kay about using that set and matching bunch. No, navy works are better. So just the plain old navy. Navy, right. I think the vote is navy. Now, the other question is, where, where's that J just gone? Phew, it's gone up there. Uh, do we want it popped up or flat? Inaka, nice to see you. Popped up or flat is your next vote. So while I get the Knight of Navy card out, you guys can, can do that. Vote if you want it 3D. Sorry to be so late, don't you worry. Shaz wants it popped up. I'm going to use this. Anyone else? You're thinking popped up. Yeah, two votes for popped up. I take that as red, I've taken that as. Either would look fab. Okay, you're very diplomatic. <laughs> okay, let's go popped up and need to find me some dubri. Um... This, this is what I meant. So, let's have a look. Levine, do you always do your, your letters popped up? Thanks, Kay. She's reminding people that you can give a thumbs up if you really like to. More thumbs up, greatly appreciate. Pardon me, I've got the pair, I don't know why. Right, I'm just going to bring the beast in because it's here. Right, excuse me, everybody. Let's see what we can do here letters and I squeeze one more in okay yes I add letters and then cut to not waste it. You add letters and then cut. What not to waste, what these. Oh, these are going to keep moving, aren't they? Now, corporation. Everybody. The foam and foamed card stock. Yeah, so what I'm doing, yeah? Is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Nice surprise. Making the card for baby Joshua, so. Matt works with Joshua's daddy, so making sure that. Nobody else can see this. So I pop these out. And then now. Now Levine. 
as a way of doing this. I think she's she's a bit more particular than I am, might be Levine. <laughs> I'm a, if it looks alright, go with it. But I just think you get a ruler. Do you get a ruler? Yeah, use the ruler. I'm going to pop these letters out carefully, she says. Just take your time. They will pop out with the the um with the backing. And I'm going to kind of keep them intact as much as possible because I don't want them to stick until I've got them sort of fairly lined up really. Or sometimes I take the backing off and then just don't stick it. Like this S doesn't want to come out by itself. Okay, change your plan. <laughs> sometimes it's easy just to take the backing off and then just roughly stick it where you want it. So Levine uses a ruler to make sure that all her letters are nice and straight. Right, J O S H U. Where's the A disappeared to? A. It's here. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to channel my inner Levine. So I've got my card there, I think I want it fairly low, I think, J-O-S, I think S is fairly central to the, J, I know, make sure you spell it right. No. S. H. I think I might need to go over a little bit. U. A. So that's why you don't stick it down straight away. Um, use your silicon mat, but that, oh, that's just a bit sensible, Kay, isn't it? <laughs> right, so we're moving these over a touch. Don't tear. It's tearing the paper. Yeah, watch Esther try paint. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry is what I was going to say. Okay, I'm going for it. I like. I just don't have the patience of living. I've decided. I think as long as the first letter and the last letter are stuck down, then you work in between. It's handmade, it can't be perfect. See, this definitely needs to come down there. This just keeps ripping the paper. We'll stick a little star or something in there, it'll be fine. Up a bit. Are you all holding your breath for me? <laughs> Why does the S seem completely elongated? Oh, 
Oh, do you know what? I'm starting to lose the wheel. I can just pretend it's supposed to be like that. Are you all with me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. Uh, I use my reverse tweezers to, re to place the letters as a very small part touches the dies and then fingers aren't in the way. That's a good idea. This is why you do wonky letters. Do you feel my pain? <laughs> oh dear. How funny. Right, I'm there now, guys. I'm there. So, reverse tweezers. Wonky letters, silicone mat, ruler, bish bash bosh. Done. It would it would help if it was a shorter name, but you don't get to pick and choose that. It was going to be a longer name, so it's a good job. It you know, a little bit of a blue smudge. Okay, definitely going to have to put a little star or something there. I've got a little tear. There we go. That's worth it. <laughs> okay. That S, why is that S so huge? Oh, it is what it is, as they say. And I've got a sticky out bit there as well. I wonder if I can just trim along this edge. The elephant's going to be there anyway, so I can cover up. Not enough thinking, just do it. You think it's stretched? The middle bit has stretched. Oh, wow. Do you know what? That's <laughs> that's all good. I'm I'm good. <laughs> Let's get this stuck down. So, do we want lots of 3D? It's gonna be a jolly old heavy card, isn't it? Let's do this. Rest. We'll have like a mammoth, like, look, 43 minutes later, and that wasn't including the colouring, guys. I saved you the colouring and the die cutting. Should be thankful, really. <laughs> it's alright for you, replay viewers, you can skip forward. These poor people watching the live. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Oh, it's stuck. Tough. It's stuck. <laughs> it has glitter on already. You missed that part. It has glitter on the star. I don't know if you can see it there. And along the, the moon and along the, the clouds. So I think, still got glue on there, we need some stars. So that's one thing I didn't cut out. Um, find my dies again. So these dies come with these stars. I think these just cut out the like the individual little stars. I love a baby card, says Levine. I don't get a chance to make them often, so it's nice. Uh, Wendy says we're enjoying your company. I have the time if you do. Oh, that's all right then. Ah, uh, seal impress. That's it. <laughs> Is 
It's good, it's half time, you can watch. <laughs> I'm taking um, Vicky away from the football. Right, lemon lolly to match the... Oh look, I don't even have lemon lolly scraps. Let's cut out some lolly lolly. Add some stars. It's nice just hanging out sometimes, isn't it? Like, you can get on with what you want to do as well, but you can have me on in the background if you want to. I could while away your hours if you want. <laughs> okay, mustn't forget the little chipmunk guy, in case you want to include him later. Oh, oh, stop press. Um, I'm going to use some of that sticky paper because then it will save me. Okay, if you're wondering what I'm on about, I've got the self adhesive sticky paper and I'm just going to cut some. to go on here so that I don't have to be gluing those stars so you've got to just peel off backing No time watching you is wasted time. Oh, thanks, Shaz. Esther, is the chat available to see on replay? I couldn't work out how to do it. Yes, so it takes a little time for YouTube to kind of process the chat. In fact, like I'd say, give it at least 24 hours. And then that live chat button will come back up and you'll be able to see the live chat. So that's why I tend to read up the comments because if people are watching after the video has gone up and they've just missed it, they can't see the live chat. So I tend to read out. This is going to be very fiddly. I don't know if this was a good idea. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's how it works. Look at all these tiny, weeny, weeny stars. So cute though. Right, so my idea was to peel off the backing my pokey tool and cover up my little mistake in there. Sure, I peel that back enough. No. <laughs> Try another one. Um. Thank you, Vicky. Yes, I've got a, a group on Facebook. Hi, Karen. Nice to see you. It's hot in southern France, where we're spending three weeks with daughter and family, so I'm enjoying watching in the shade. How lovely. Oh, I think it automatically saves the conversation, I hope. Uh, Levine's still on the stairs, watching. It's so nice to relax. Oh, Are you chilling out on the stairs? Making sure you're not interrupted by anybody else. Bless you. After day living. Oh, the stars just make it, I think. Like, if you think having a baby is a labour of love, making a baby card is also a labour of love in a different type of way. <laughs> uh, Levine makes some beautiful gift boxes and things, don't you, Levine? It's nice to do baby stuff. 
So, hold on, let's think. There's... And there are three children. Do I leave it at that many stars to represent the children and the family? I feel like it needs a star over here somewhere, though. I might do that. That will represent the number in their family. As for these stars, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I might find their way to their near, the nearest bin. Right, let's just stick them over there for now. Okay, um, do we want to incorporate any clouds? I don't think it really needs any more. I think we're good on the cloud front, me. No. Nope. Okay. Let's bring you out a little bit. Uh, no mistakes in cards making. In card making, just creative challenges. Absolutely. I would love to case this, please, Esther. Shaz, I kind of got the idea from somebody who made a pop card. So please, by all means, use it. But I will post below who the inspiration was from. Um, great. I'm going to leave the stars as they are because I think that I just need to put in a little bit of dimensional there. Guys, we're nearly finished. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> This, this one's popping up a little bit here. It's going to squeeze in a dimensional. Okay. Now this is going to be quite top heavy. So, um, in order to stop it doing like giraffe legs and folding, um, it's best to layer the inside. Tuck a little cloud behind the star. Anyone else see blank screen and buffering? Oh no! I hope everyone else can see. It's a gorgeous card, so thanks for sharing. Oh, thank you. Beautiful card. All good hit and occur. Maybe go back out and in. Thank you, Shaz, for telling her to do that because it might be her French connection. <laughs> French connection! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. Right, so I'm thinking we'll do um, for the inside. Pull you up a little bit. We're going to get that die that I've almost lost, and we're going to do a cloud along the top. Also, if you take a sliver off the back of the card at the bottom, it makes it lean back. Oh. That's a good idea. If you take a sliver of the card uh, at the bottom, so of the back of the card. Yes, that's a good point. So if you take a little bit off the back, you make sure that it. I might just do that. Although I'll do it afterwards because my trimmer blade needs changing. So this is going to be the inside. I've not added any other colour on this brush. It's amazing how it retains the colour. Oh, good job I saved those stars because I can use it for this little geezer here. Should we have him like floating on a cloud? Or behind a cloud? Behind the cloud. And he can catch some stars. Yes, I'll do that. That looks cute. Okay. Actually, we'll have to trim this now. Don't look, because this is a non-stampin' up trimmer. <laughs> I'm going to trim a smidge off the back. You didn't see anything. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, dear. So that... Good job. Right. This is going to go on the inside. I always get a bit, um, do you guys get a bit, what's the word? Like, if I, if you go and stick in the insert without writing on it first, a bit nervous. Like, I'm like, if I fluff up the, the writing, 
like he's already stuck in. <coughs> He's going to be slightly leaning back because he's catching those stars. Let's see what a smaller cloud looks like. And his tail sticking out. No, I don't think we need any more clouds. Do the little one. It's got room for some writing. So I'm just wondering if I need one at the bottom to balance out the weight of the card. Very top heavy. Okay. And then I'm guessing. If something's nearer, it's bigger. So, he's gone and caught this one in his net. Shaz writes first before sticking hers in. That one doesn't have any glue on it. That's annoying. Guys, I think I'm done. I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. Squashy, yes. No, I can't because it's already. I think what I need to do. I've got the backing stuck to it. Let's just try something. Try and elongate the. Bottom half of the S a little bit. That fixed it, didn't it? How about it? That's a bit short now. <laughs> you fiddle all day, can't you? Right. I always make my card uh, one sixteenth longer at the front. This is known as a lean, leaning edge as it helps to open the card up. I think I kind of knew it, but I never practiced it. <laughs> ah, how cute. Right now I've got to all do it all over again, but do like a, a girly version. <laughs> Brill, I'm happy with that. Thanks for joining me for my, um, my card escapades and for your patience as I made baby Joshua's card. Um, oh, I'm pleased with that. So thank you, yeah, thank you. I've hit the hour, so I appreciate you sticking with me and I'm glad I made the decision to do the colouring beforehand. Now, if you want colouring tips, um, Wendy, I don't know if you're gonna start up your colouring class soon, but it might be worth, you know, if you want to go to Wendy's very reasonably priced colouring class, once she gets up and running again and when she's got time, she might be able to do it. Let me know, Wendy. Um, it just help me kind of get more confidence in colouring. So, uh, Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm really pleased with this now that I can, um, I'm done and I can get that sorted. I might go off and do a girly version. Um, I'm wondering whether to restart another video. 
what's the time? 12. Right, I'm going to crack on. Um, and I'll just try and think what else I've got to, to do. I'm going to crack on. I'm going to go and love you and leave you because I've spent the hour with you. So um, take care. God bless. Let me just do a little face to face. Hello. Long time no see. Um, yeah, so that's me. <laughs> i got nothing to say. I'm wittering. But thank you ever so much for joining me. Um, thumbs up always greatly appreciated. So thank you for that. And leave a comment below. Let me know maybe um, if you would have done anything differently or any great tips you have for sticking on the letters onto the card. All right. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.